Here's a little Meanwhile in Russia video for y'all. Uh, I found this interesting, uh, that this is going on in, in, uh, in the Russian uh, uh, legislature right now. A few years ago, there was a law that forbade uh, prop propaganda of, of uh, LGBTQ-related uh, material when it was uh, marketed to those 18 and under. Well, uh, now uh, <laughs> Russia's gro Russia is growing even more based, um, as, we'll see, as you can see from this article. And this is in RT course, uh, uh, but uh, I don't think that it's factually off in any way. It's just It's just as a plain news story, which is how we'll, we're going to look at it here. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to read the whole thing, but just to get the gist of it. L uh, Russia finalizes LGBTQ propaganda ban. The, the bill, which carries heavy fines for violators, will become law after Russian President Vladimir Putin signs off on it. The Federation Council, Russia's upper chamber of par parliament, has approved a bill on Wednesday that imposes a complete ban on LGBT pedophilia and sex change propaganda. The bill, which is now set to become law, uh, outlaws the respective propaganda in books, movies, media, and advertising. The legislation on the protection of traditional values was backed unanimously by all 153 senators present at the session of the chamber with no abstentions in opposition. That's really something. <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty incredible that there, uh, there was that kind of, uh, agreement at least, or that kind of, uh, social pressure at least exerted that even those senators who might not, uh, agree felt, uh, compelled to, uh, to back this uh, this bill, uh, there were no abstentions or opposition. Nobody even, you know, didn't vote. Everyone voted uh, for it. Okay. Uh, it passed through the State Duma, Russia's lower chamber of parliament, receiving unanimous support there as well. So everyone in the Russian legislature approved, everyone who was elected, to uh, the, the Duma uh, and to um, the uh, Senate uh, uh, were in agreement about this bill, that this bill was a good thing, that, that we, they wanted it to be passed. Um, so the bill becomes law after Putin signs off on it, outlaws the respective propaganda in books, movies, and advertising, the new rules don't apply to video games. Lawmakers agreed this field would require separate legislation. Okay, Rosk Omzador, Rosk Komanadzor. I won't try to say that again. You know, this word. Russia's media watchdog will be tasked with monitoring media content for illegal propaganda and blocking offensive material available on the internet. The legislation is effectively a follow-up to a 2013 law that banned the dissemination of LGBT propaganda among children under 18 in the country. The new law, however, universally applies to both minors and adults. Okay. And uh, so they go on to say it, there's not, it, there's no criminal liability for violators, uh, but it does carry heavy fines for both individuals and organizations who break it. Uh, and those promoting pedophilia would face fines twice those amounts. Foreign nationals would face fines of up to uh, 800,000 rubles, as well as expulsion from the country. So, what really to say about this? Um, well, it should be noted that this is uh, uh, this this law forbids LGBTQ uh, propaganda um, and worse pedophilic, far worse pedophilic propaganda uh, being disseminated to anyone. 
not just to those under 18, but to anyone. <clears throat> but at the same time, it doesn't, uh, it, it leaves people alone in their private lives. In other words, if one is, if one is homosexual or lives a homo homosexual lifestyle, one can still frequent, uh, I would assume, gay bars and, and uh, you know, have uh, gay relationships and otherwise do gay things. Uh, but so, so there's no pro uh, prosecution or persecution of those, uh, you know, who, who are living the gay lifestyle. Uh, but what 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 people what people are forbade from doing is propagandizing for LGBTQ uh, stuff. So this is uh, um, kind of a middle ground between where the West is today. Most every country in the West, uh, where it's just anything goes, and and and, and you know worse than that, it's it's where you know. We uh, have our our higher ups actively pushing this stuff on on our on not just us but on our children, uh, and we're told uh, that we're bad people if we if we object in any way to it. I mean that's that's the atmosphere here in the West. It's totally out of hand. Um, it's it's gone farther than I guess than I ever fathomed it going uh, even a short time ago. You know, we've fallen so far, so fast, as far as this stuff goes, um, to where, you know, drag queen story hours now, um, you know, something that, that is a, you know, that they're, they're trying to normalize and they're trying to normalize, uh, uh letting children get mutilated, um, children under 18 get mutilated, uh, because they, they're, They've be, be, been talked into, or they've become convinced that uh, they they should be a boy rather than a girl, or a girl rather than a boy. This is hideous. This is monstrous. Um. And so, what you have in okay, so so the middle ground is this uh, degeneracy, this open degeneracy in the West, but then in, in places like in the Muslim world, uh, you know, it's pretty, uh, it's you know, if you're, if you're uh, gay at all, then, then you're in, you're in deep trouble. If you're, you know, if you, uh, uh, um, live the gay lifestyle, then you'll be beheaded or, or hanged or, or, you know, thrown off of a building or something like that, you know, which I also don't approve of, <laughs> needless to say. Um, so dare I say that what we see here in Russia is striking a kind of balance uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, saying, look, you, we'll allow this behavior, but we're not going to encourage it. We're not going to promote it. You know, we're not going to have every single freaking commercial feature a gay couple or, or a mixed race couple, uh, like we have here in the West now, uh, or, or a mixed race gay couple, you know, two for one, uh, or, you know, in sitcoms or, or in movies, uh, you know, just this, representation um that's that, that's not what they're doing uh, in russia they're 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 leaning very different in a very different direction there and uh also this past you know without there being any dissent this past without there being any argument it seems that uh the legislature is of one mind about this and uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm sure that there are uh, there there's probably a, a number in the po of the population who would who do object to this. But it seems that if this didn't have the widespread support of the Russian population, I don't think it would be able to pass in this uh, you know in in such a robust manner where uh, it's it's approved by every single member of the Duma and every single member of um, uh, the Senate. Imagine a bill like this uh, being put before uh, the, 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 Amer the U.S. Congress, you know, or, or anything, not, not even anything this, this, uh, that goes this far. Um, 
you know, like even saying, uh, you know, children K through three, uh, you know, if you're a teacher and you've, you've got children in, from kindergarten through third grade, you should not talk to them about sex. You should not talk to them about your sex life, you know, which is a law that was passed in Florida. I mean, and people, you know, people actually think, oh my God, that's so crazy. That's so homophobic. That's so uh, terrible. I mean, not too long ago, that was just common sense that you don't talk to little kids about sex. That that would be, con- that that's controversial at all. Um, just shows how far we've fallen. And, uh, I know, I know I've got people out there who who are saying, yeah, yeah, the Russian thing, you know, so the supporting Russia, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're, you're just, uh, off your head, uh, you know, in, if you're promoting, uh, or supporting Russia or, or thinking that, that, uh, something good could be going on there. I mean, show me a Western country where anything like this could even, uh, remotely be discussed, you know, show me, show me one, just one. Things have fallen so hard, so far, so far, so fast, um, here in the West that now it's controversial, um, to, uh, to say, uh, men who, uh, who, um, think that they're women should not, sh- should not participate in women's sports. I mean, that's controversial now. That was common sense. Uh, you know, just a short time ago. So once more, Russia must be doing something right. Right? Am I wrong? If I'm wrong, tell me how I'm wrong. Leave your comment below. Thanks for watching.